If you have ever even considered moving to Tyler, Texas, then I strongly encourage you to keep on watching this video because what I'm gonna do today is I'm gonna bust out my laptop, dive into Google Maps, and we're gonna go through everything that you need to know as a newcomer coming to Tyler. We're gonna get on the streets. I'm gonna show you where the schools are, where the churches are, where the stores are, where all the main roads are. Everything to do with Tyler, give you a whistle stop tour just so you can get your bearings. So if you are planning on coming to Tyler, you'll have a good basic set of knowledge before you hit those streets. All of that coming up right after this. Howdy everyone and welcome back to the channel. For those new here, my name is Ronnie Withers and if you wanna know what it's like to live, eat, work, sleep and play in Tyler, Texas and the surrounding areas, go ahead and smash the subscribe button and hit that notification bell so you're the first to be notified on any Tyler, Texas market updates. I'm getting calls every single day of people just like you who are looking to move to Tyler, move within Tyler and sell their Tyler home. So if that sounds like you, please reach out and give me a call, shoot me a text or send me an email and we can get together, we can get on a call and cut out all the stress and getting you into your dream Tyler home. Without further ado, today I will take you to my laptop here. We will go to my computer screen and we will hop on Google Maps and I will talk a little bit about all things Tyler, everything you need to know as someone who is relocating from another state or another country like me maybe, and we can just have a look around at the road systems because I know how daunting and intimidating it can be to go to a brand new place, not knowing anything, not really knowing how to get about. And if you're anything like me, I'm not the best with directions anyway. So this kind of video would have been very helpful for someone like me who moved to Tyler a few months ago. So let's cut the talking and hop straight into the laptop. I will see you there right now. And just like that, with the power of editing and technology, you are now with me in my computer screen on Google Maps. So the plan for today is gonna to be kind of giving you a little bit of a whistle stop tour of Tyler, where, where the location is of Tyler, where Tyler is in location to other cities. And then we're gonna dive deep into Tyler and I'm just gonna tell you some of the things that you probably should know moving here and it would be helpful to know. Like I said before, I only moved to Tyler last year. So, and I didn't know anything about Tyler moving into it. So this video would have been really helpful for me. And the hope is it's going to be really helpful for you as well. You're not going to know everything, but you'll have a basic idea of where you're going, what Tyler looks like, and how it's kind of broken up. So let's hop into this right now. As you can see, I've kind of zoomed out very far. So this is the real basic. So this is obviously Texas right here. And then let's first zoom in to Dallas because Dallas is probably one of uh, Dallas is one of the closest biggest cities, especially in Texas to Tyler. So you have Dallas Fort Worth here. And from Dallas to Tyler, all you're going to have to do is going to be around depending on where if you're if you're coming from the uh, from the east suburbs of Dallas, it's going to be about an hour and a half. If you're going from Tyler to center of Dallas is going to be around two hours. So Tyler is east of Dallas. It's right here. So if I want to go to, for, to Dallas, there we go. If we want to go to Dallas or from, yeah, Tyler. Let's see exactly how far. So this is the distance right here. So it's actually shorter than my thoughts. So it's about a hundred miles um, on a good day, an hour and 40 minutes. If you've got traffic, depending on the time of the day, about two hours. Uh, but what you're gonna have to do, you're just gonna, you're gonna be getting on the I-20, which is this road here. The I-20 east through Canton, through Van, all the way into Tyler here. So that's one thing a lot of people want to know because for the things that we can't, we don't have here in Tyler, you're gonna have it in Dallas. So it's good to know that Dallas is only around an hour and a half to two hours away. So there's Dallas and Tyler, like I just said, is east of Dallas. So the Tyler city limits, let's zoom in a little bit. There we go. This is a good bird's eye view of Tyler. So as you can see here, these are a rough estimate of the Tyler city limits here. 
So that is Tyler. And you can kind of see the suburbs of Tyler. So you've got Lindale up here. You've got Chandler. You have Bullard down here and Flint right above it. You have White House. Um, and then if you go east a little bit more, you kind of come over to the Overton Kilgore and you have Longview over here. So that's kind of what's in a close area to Tyler. Also, we have, if you go far enough east and you might like gambling or something, we have Shreveport over here. So Shreveport is you're going to be continuing on I-20, which is this road here. Um, you can kind of see it goes all the way from Dallas. Oh, where we go down here. It'll go all the way from Dallas through kind of North Tyler. You can get into Tyler that way and it goes all the way to Shreveport. So you kind of, Tyler's in between in the middle of Dallas and Shreveport. So it's going to take you around another hour and 30 minutes to get from Tyler to Shreveport. One thing to note as well, uh, which I'm going to explain in a minute, but to get to this I-20, it's very close to the north of Tyler here. So if you're going to be in the, the south of Tyler, it's just going to be a little bit further. Just, just one thing to keep in note. The last surrounding city we're going to talk about is Houston, because a lot of people ask how far away Houston is from Tyler. And Houston's going to be a little bit further. Houston's going to be around three hours away from Tyler. But three hours, you could still make it in a day trip. But let me double check that. It's going to be about three and a half hours. So if you want to make a day trip to Houston, you can do it. It's just going to be a little bit longer. Okay, now we've talked about the surrounding areas, the surrounding cities. Let's let's zoom into Tyler and we can we can talk about Tyler and the road systems um, and kind of the location of things. And we can we can have a look at that. So here's Tyler, Texas. One of the best places to move to, in my humble opinion. Here is a bird's eye view of Tyler. So the city limits are going to be around here. You can see my perfect art skills. So Tyler's kind of split up into areas. So we're going to have North Tyler, which is going to be around this area. We're going to have South Tyler, which is kind of anywhere south of downtown. Let's just kind of, this is South Tyler right here. And then we're going to have West Tyler, which is here. And then kind of East Tyler, which is around here. So I'm sure we can see, but North, South, East, and West. Okay. Perfect. So they're kind of the areas. So if anyone talks to you about, oh, this is in South Tyler, you know, you kind of know that area. This is in North Tyler. So let's zoom in and I'll show you downtown. I've said on many of my other videos, so downtown in Tyler, it's, I really like it. It's, it's historic. It's got the kind of red brick roads. Uh, it's really nice to go to. But the, the more people you speak to, it's not like another big city where downtown is popping, where there's loads of shops, there's loads of things to do. It really isn't that. So you don't need to be going to downtown Tyler all the time, but it is a nice place to go. And it's kind of, it's a nice place to know where it is as well. So we'll see this area here it is downtown Tyler. So as you can see, like downtown's going to have some, it's got a, nice coffee shops it's got 1948 coffee right here it's got the foundry coffee uh it's got a mexican restaurant don juan's it's got ricks on the square which is also mexican um and then here you have the tyler city square now i've after this video i've done a video uh on tyler i've done quite a few on tyler i've done the pros and cons i've done uh, the best neighborhoods so you'll see some of these areas in more detail in those videos and i'll link them on this on this video but in one of the videos in the pros and cons i was actually in the square and let's let's change this to satellite view so you can kind of you can see what i mean so here we are we'll zoom in and then here's going to be the square right here so if we go and kind of see the street view tyler city square is here and we'll just we'll have a look we'll go on north broadway so here we are we'll just have a quick look around so this is the square 
in Thailand and I kind of walk around there in some of my videos. So here's North Broadway. And if you ever Google Tyler and you see a picture, this is kind of this theater here is something that you'll see a lot of. Um, and then here we have, if you come to Tyler, you want to get a picture with the wings. It's going to be here right on South Broadway, right there. And then that's where I'm sure you saw in the introduction of my video, one of the videos is me taking a video right in front of it. So it's welcome to downtown Tyler. It's a nice little mural with uh, the angel wings. So that is where that is located. That's where the square is in Tyler. Now let's talk about some of the, the main roads in Tyler. So we have Broadway here. Um, so North Broadway, if we kind of zoom out a little bit. So you've got downtown, the, the Tyler City Square here. So North Broadway is obviously going to be going north into North Tyler. And then this is South Broadway, and it's going to be the main road going south to South Tyler. So if we can kind of track that, we can see it here. So we zoom out a little bit more. So it's just, it's really nice because it's just one straight road. So North Broadway is just going to be coming from the center of Tyler all the way north into North Tyler and up. And South Broadway is the opposite. It's going to be going from downtown. It's just one long road down, which is really nice and really easy if you're living around these areas. For example, I live in Bullard, which is right down here. So if I'm ever in downtown Tyler right here, I just get on South Broadway and I'm one long road. South Broadway goes to Highway 69 and it just, you follow that one straight road all the way into Bullard. And you can get that, you can get to Flint, you can get to any other suburb. Uh, area from there as well so that's really nice it's the it's kind of similar with north tyler it only goes up to this loop right here but that's just one central vein going through tyler which is really nice so first road to remember broadway north broadway north tyler south broadway goes to us 69 kind of access to south tyler one thing I don't want to forget to mention is you have one toll road here in Tyler, which is toll 49, which you can see here, which can be useful sometimes if, if you travel along the route a lot, but I just want you to be aware of it. So you're not, if you're going to Dallas or coming from Dallas, it's easy to, to get onto that toll road. So make sure on your maps, you, find a route without tolls because this is a toll road. Like I said, can be beneficial, but I don't use it. Most people don't use it that I know of, uh, but that could be a decision that if you live in Lindale, for example, it could be very helpful. The next thing you'll notice is a loop. You have a smaller loop here around Tyler, which down here is, is normally is the historic districts um, you've got kind of close to downtown, you've got your shops, uh, kind of your smaller stuff. And then we've got this big loop here, which kind of gives you access to a lot of things. So this is uh, loop 323 here in Tyler. So you can see this loop 323 is going to get you access to a lot of different, any area you could want to go because it's a loop, it kind of makes sense. You can get anywhere. So you can get to the highway if you need to, if you want to go to Dallas, if you want to go to Shreveport, you can get to US 69. If you want to go south to Flint and Bullard, you can get to kind of anywhere you want to get to in Tyler. So those are the two loops you need to remember uh, and kind of get used to. But the main one that people are going to be using a lot is the Loop 323. In terms of housing here in Tyler, the really desirable area to be, which there is a, a large amount of, of really nice areas to be in Tyler, but the really desirable area with the really expensive homes, with kind of all the new businesses popping up is going to be in, in the South Tyler area around here is where a lot of desirable homes are. The further you go south, kind of around these areas, you're going to have loads of new build communities. Uh, you're going to have loads of new shops popping up. And this is the, the real desirable area where people are moving in, but I want to be in this area. So this is just one thing to remember. This is kind of a really desirable area, but 
you'll find great areas all over Tyler. One road that I do wanna wanna take some attention to is this road here. So it's gonna be going from Bullard through Flint. Um, and it's actually, as you're going into Tyler, it's called Old Jacksonville Highway. So it's gonna go all the way into Tyler, then you're gonna get onto Broadway if you wanna go into Tyler as well. So Old Jacksonville is an air, a road where a lot of, like I just talked about, a lot of the new buildings and the new areas are kind of being built. And there's a lot of new build homes and really nice neighborhoods off of Old Jacksonville. So my office is actually off of Old Jacksonville as well. So if you zoom in a little bit, so this is Old Jacksonville here. And this is gonna be getting you through Flint if you're coming from Bullard or Flint and it's gonna you're gonna be coming uh, around here. So if I just show you a satellite picture of it. So here is Old Jacksonville. So it's coming up here. My office is around here. And if you look, these are actually some of the neighborhoods that I went to in my best neighborhoods of Tyler video. So we'll have a look. So you're gonna have Holly Tree around here. And if I just quickly go on and maybe have a look at some of the homes here. Right, I'm just gonna pick a random area and we'll just kind of, you'll see what I mean with, with the really nice homes. So let's pick here, for example. We'll have a look and we'll just see. This is a really nice area, really nice homes around. And this is a really good road to be off. Like I talked about before, there's a lot of new businesses, like there's coffee, you'll see coffee shops everywhere. So there's a coffee shop here. So you've got the Cocoa Bean here, which the Cocoa Bean is right off of the Legacy Walking Trail, which I also explained in one of my videos. So you can see the trail here. And this is the, the couple of mile walking track that kind of goes through South Tyler. And it's a really nice area to walk, but this is a really nice area. Then you've got Fresh by Brookshire's here, which is a kind of a grocery a grocery store. It's the equivalent of almost like Whole Foods. Uh, it's really good. You get groceries. You can like kind of go in and order lunch and food in there. Fresh is I very highly recommend Fresh. But you have restaurants here. You have a, you have Walmart's dotted around. So that's all off of Old Jacksonville Highway. So this is kind of this is a zoomed in area of the yeah, area I just explained. Kind of. This is why people are saying you don't need to be going into downtown very often because if you're living anywhere around here, you're gonna be traveling to around this area to do any of your shopping. You've got the shopping mall here, Broadway Square, you've got Home Depot, uh, you've got restaurants all over this area. You've got nice parks like Faulkner Park. Uh, you have Bergfield Park over here. You have, you have gyms, Planet Fitness, you have, um, Crunch Fitness, which is another main kind of budget gym here in Tyler, all in this South Tyler area. So that's why it's so desirable. And all the new homes are kind of popping up in this area too. So if we stick on this screen right here, there's a couple of things I want to point out. So one is the University of Texas at Tyler. So UT Tyler is over here. So it's kind of East Tyler. Uh, it's right here, which the campus is absolutely beautiful. You can see kind of the city, this gray area of like the built up area of the city ends here. Then you've got all this lush greenery and fields. And you can really see that that on the campus of UT Tyler, it's green, it's beautiful. It's got ponds and lakes on it. It's, it's absolutely amazing. And kind of the same can be said over here. You can see all the, the built up area kind of ends here. Um, and then you go into the green area all around here for West. Tyler and that's just all beautiful and green you can see you've got Lindsay Park here which is a, a great park the Cascades uh, Golf and Country Club I did this is one of the areas where I will show some of the million dollar properties on my video and that's over in West Tyler and that's a really really nice area if we show the you can kind of see it's off of a it's off of two lakes We'll just see some pictures of it here. It's ridiculous how nice it is here, but we'll go across and we'll see some pictures. But that is all over in West Tyler. We're here. And the last thing I want to point out for, for those of you that like to do your shopping in bulk is that we have a Sam's Club. So if you want to know the location of the Sam's Club, it's right next to the Cascades Country Club. And it's right here. 
it's also very close to a walmart so a lot of the stuff you'll need is on south broadway here you've got like i said the shopping mall broadway square you've got you have your main shopping mall here and more shops around here you can see the hobby lobby and then you can go down here you have something called the village at cumberland park which is a really nice little strip mall it's got a trampoline park it's got a, a movie theater it's it's a really really nice area and there's a lot of new stores you've got super one foods um you've got academy here there are a lot of new things are being built and new stores are coming to this area so this is really really nice and it's right opposite from faulkner park which let's move on to parks tyler is covered with parks it's a really nice area. like falcon park is one of my favorites there's tennis courts you've got a pond here it's really nice for walks uh, you've got some nice walking trails um that's located in south tyler but there's not just parks in south tyler as we can see you've got lindsay park over here and then as we go down we've got bergfield park here which is the one that i film in a lot and this is the one with the little amphitheater so that's really nice to have a park actually kind of close to downtown because you can just go relax if you're working at a business around here you can just kind of walk here and maybe have your lunch break i'll do that with my wife sometimes we get lunch and just sit in bergfield park w winters park here you've got the children's park here there's a lot of meaning behind this children's park it's actually been made for people for parents who have lost children um and it's almost it serves as a reminder and a tribute to those kids who's kind of lost their lives so this is a really a really nice touch here in tyler now talking about food i could be here talking uh, to hours about food we have so many nice places here in tyler lots of good mexican places we have lots of good american food we have um breweries we have fish food. you can see here look we've got stanley's famous barbecue pit this has actually been rated a couple years ago it was rated i think it was like top barbecue restaurant in texas so stanley's i highly 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 recommend that you check that out uh, we have ruby's which is kind of an upper class mexican we have don juan's which is their second location remember i talked about earlier there's a location in the middle of tyler so here's the other location true vine brewing company is uh, a brewery and that's in out in kind of west tyler which is a really nice area to be and there's just you'll find food places dotted everywhere around tyler so now that we're zoomed in on the tyler area i just want to highlight one of the main employers of, of tyler and something that's huge so the healthcare here in tyler is absolutely huge it's it's really amazing so the two main hospitals um, and companies here in tyler are christus health with their mother francis hospital and uh, ut health east texas so they're going to be right here so downtown's here and then the hospitals are right here. So there are hospitals locate, located all throughout Tyler and there's lots of different locations and clinics, but these are gonna be the main hospitals. So these are the big hospitals. I wanna, if we see it better. So these are the main two hospitals in Tyler and they're pretty much next to each other as you can see here. Uh, if we have a look on satellite view, we can see here. So you've got downtown here, and then you've got Christus Health, Mother Francis is right here. And then UT Health East Texas is right here. So these are both huge hospitals, um, a lot of jobs you can already see. Like there's a clinic here, there's a clinic here. There's a lot of clinics located, but here are the, it's kind of like the hospital area of downtown Tyler. So another couple of honorable mentions that you might be interested in where they're located. So we have Coldwell Zoo which is up here in North Tyler. So we can see up here, but that's a great place to visit. And then we also have Tyler State Park as well, which is gonna be the North Tyler area. So it's right here. Here we are, which is, I need to do a video on Tyler State Park, but this is an absolutely amazing place. If you, if you like camping, if you like hiking, uh, if you like fishing, anything like that, Tyler State Park is so, so close to Tyler. Um, and it's just an amazing place to be and a great day out as well. Like you can see, you've got the big, you've got the big lake there and lots of camping area, lots of these walking trails. It's absolutely amazing place to be, but that is only from Tyler. There we go. So you're going to be going and it's very, very close to North Tyler. So the last two things we're going to look at are schools and churches. Now, 
I can't go through every single one because there's so many of them, especially when we come to churches, but I'll leave that to last. So let's just do a quick little search um, on schools and I'll kind of go through a couple of them. So here we have kind of the schools in the Tyler area. Now you can kind of take this for what you will. There are so many, uh, I will say some honorable mentions. We've got Three Lakes Middle School. That's an amazing school. Hubbard, great stuff. Chapel Hill, really good ISD. And then, and then in terms of high schools, you've got Tyler Legacy, which is one of the, it's, probably, it's a huge public school here in Tyler. Then you have the Bishop Gorman School, which is the Catholic school. And you've kind of got lots of different schools dotted out around here. So I will be making a separate video about schools just to kind of go over the different uh, rankings of the schools. Uh, I'm, in this video, I'm not including the White House and Bullard ISD and Lindale because they're really, really good, highly rated school systems as well. Uh, but this is just to give you a basic idea of where the, the schools are in relation to Tyler. Uh, the last thing we're going to look at is churches. So this is going to be, this is very funny. I've done this before, but if you type in churches, Tyler is known for its churches. A lot of people are religious here. A lot of people are Christian. And you'll just, you'll see it by the amount of churches there are in Tyler. Now, this isn't even showing all of them. If I zoomed in more, there's going to be, there's going to be so many more, but there are just so many churches around here. Big contenders in as far as, as the most members. So you've got Green Acres Baptist Church. That's a huge runner in here in Tyler. And you'll just see a lot of different churches. There are a lot here in downtown as well. Now, I'm Catholic and maybe some of you are as well. So the one little honorable mention that I'll make here. So you've got the Cathedral of the Immaculate Conception. So this is the church that I go to. This is an absolutely amazing cathedral in downtown. Uh, it's absolutely beautiful. And I'd highly, highly recommend it for any of you Catholics out there. Great stuff. And there's a lot of different churches dotted around Catholic, non-Catholic, Baptist, non-denominational, anything. You will not struggle, and I promise you this, you will not struggle to find a church that you fit in here in Tyler. There are so many churches. Any street you drive around, you will see a church, and they're dotted all throughout Tyler. So that is where I'm going to finish today. Uh, I'm sure you can imagine I could go on for hours and hours talking about every single section of this. And if there is something that you want me to go over a little bit more, then I'm more than happy to do that and dive in and kind of do this format a little bit more where I dive into the Google Maps and show you around. But that was kind of a whistle stop tour, a bird's eye view of the roads here in Tyler, just so you kind of have a little bit of a better idea and you're not coming in, if you're not, oh, moving to Tyler, you're not coming in completely blind and you have someone who lives here showing you around. So that is all I have for you for this video. I'm gonna transition by the power of editing back to me in the studio right now. And there we have it. Thank you so, so much for making it to the end of the video. Please go ahead and use that comment box below. If you have any questions on what I just said in the video, comment and I will answer those comments. I will answer your questions. Do you live in Tyler? If you do, what did I get right? Did I miss anything? Did I get anything wrong? Thank you very much for watching. Please subscribe if you are new. Like the video if you like the video. And until next time, cheerio.